Hello and welcome to part 4 of our Song of the Six playthrough here in the great city of Four Menlore. So in the previous episode we went through, we got our nursery completed, we managed to get most of our farming infrastructure done, we've expanded our housing, and more importantly, we got a new level unlock. We are now a Prontix. This means we can unlock training gown, grounds, stockades, slavers, if we want to go with that. I'm going to need a little bit of iron before we start thinking about that. Which we can either try and import if we want to, or more likely we'll mine up this ore once we get some more people. But that's the aim of the game this episode, is to get more people. We need some more people coming in, we need some more workers possibly. We're slightly lower on workers, but we've had another person move in, which is great. Looking at our population, our population is doing alright, is going up slightly. We're going to have more of our humans as well when we manage to get our nursery actually up and running, which we are here. There they go. They're plopping down some fruit and a baby will spawn there in a second and we'll have our own humans actually growing up here, which will be fantastic. We will have to keep a little eye on our fruit, fruit stockpiles though, so currently we're importing vegetables, which is alright, but we may switch that over to fruit instead. We want to make sure that we've got probably yeah, 90 fruit. 90 fruit I think should be fine. We're currently doing alright with our farms. Our farms are fairly small but they're bringing in a little bit of food same with our fishery here we're only four fishermen but we have actually upgraded that as well a couple of people skinny dipping in the river very very nice keeping themselves nice and cool as we start to come into summer so what's our aim for this episode i think we've really got to consider how we're going to improve our food stockpiles we only have eight to seven days of food left it kind of goes up and down and we need to think about what we're going to use our other people for we have our tailor up they are making us some clothes which we have a very small stockpile of, so at least that means everybody has clothes, more than likely. Just getting shipped out to the various market stalls for the, them to be given out, or the distribution stalls, rather. So we just have to keep that in mind. As it comes for vacancies within our longhouses, our longhouses all have quite a lot of vacancy, which is good. We want to make sure that everybody has a house as much as we can. That'll improve the amount of immigration that we're having. Our Dondorians aren't particularly happy at the moment, it seems like. I think what we will do, we're seeing as we have a full stockpile of stone, is we'll actually say, hey, you know what, let's just furnish all of your houses with stone. They're not going to take very much, we can just mine it up from the ground, though we have to be a little bit wary because unlike the trees, the stone doesn't grow back. But we are quite close to a lot of stone fields over here, and worse comes to worse, we can always just start mining at the mountain as well. And we do have this permanent, if not that great yield stone deposit that we can use to continue getting more stone. And just like that, the amount of immigration that we're getting is fairly skyrocketing. That's just got five extra people left now. Good stuff, good stuff. Our humans are pretty happy, which is nice to see. And they should continue to be happy, if possible. And we've got our first couple of kids. Fantastic. They will take a little while to grow up, unfortunately. But hey-ho, hey-ho. As soon as they do, they'll be native members of our city the the issue that you have is that if you have too many immigrants people get unhappy including the people who've just immigrated as well it makes it harder to get more people in and helping out in your city but it's not to matter we're getting through here fine our food stockpiles are going up a little bit it's not because of our bread we've only got a little bit of grain but we are importing a fair fairly high amount of cotton to come in so we can make them into clothes and we should hopefully have a pretty good stockpile of that. Maybe our weaver, we only have five people here. We maybe don't need all nine of you on the tailor. We'll maybe bump that down to five because I don't think all of you are being used. And all of a sudden we have 10 workers to use. So one thing we could potentially do is we could make up an ore mine over here. Now it does produce noise and it will annoy people around it. But if we did an ore mine, say, like here, that's a lot of furniture, though. There's a lot of furniture, and that's before we even think about storage. But that's qu it's quite efficient, actually, with the um, the amount of deposits that we have and the good deposits we have as well. And how can we improve the efficiency? It's going to be very difficult to improve the efficiency very much here. It's going to be very, very costly. I wonder, instead of this, we just build it to be quite small So to begin with. So if we, say, build it like that... Still 60 furniture, but that's nowhere near as bad as it was before. Still not particularly efficient, which is a bit of a shame. But we can build a little bit of an efficiency booster there. So we're just producing more. 
does need 128 workers as is base, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll put like a little storage potentially over here. Yeah, this this will do. It covers up a little bit of the ore, but that's fine. Hmm. Is it fine though? Not really. Let's just increase the size a little bit and we can put our storage out over here, kind of as we were planning to do later. We'll come back to this room later on and actually make it into a proper mine and we will not have 128 people working on it to begin with. This means we can start to stockpile a little bit of ore and with that ore we can then either sell it, which I think we'll probably do in the meantime, just to, just to, you know, make us a little bit more cash. We can use that to maybe import some clay which we can then use to make into pots. I think that'd probably be a good idea, because in terms of mining for clay, we've got one clay mine all the way over here, and we've got another clay mine all the way over here, so which we we can mine clay. And this one has okay deposits, I suppose. What about the other one? Where is it? Over here. Uh, this one, not so great, but it is a larger clay deposit, at least. Something to consider. We can use them to get us some clay later on. And we do actually have enough stone and furniture to build this smaller mine. So we will, we'll make sure as well that we don't have everybody here working it. Yeah, let's not have all of you working on it. We just want to have like a handful of miners. Probably like seven. They're not going to make very much ore, but it should be enough that we can use it to sell. We could potentially think about making a smelter as well to turn it into iron bars, which would then be even better in terms of making us money. Which could be an idea, but we maybe want to wait until we have a few more people for it. Number of clothes is going up, so we've actually got pretty decent stockpile of clothes. Which is very, very nice. Quite a lot of cotton as well. And our food situation is actually getting a lot better too. We've managed to get uh, a bunch more of our fruit. We've got a bunch more of our vegetables, our meat and our fish. And our bread. So we've got a fairly varied amount of food that people are getting. So they should be a little bit happier about that. Which is always nice. But either way, we're just kind of sitting here for just now. We've got our kids, they're going to grow up. We're making sure that we have enough workers for everything. In terms of research, we have our 12 researchers who are currently working here just now. We could have more researchers if we wanted to. But I think we're quite happy with that just now. Our science is mostly stable. We will need more science. We'll probably need more scientists too. But I think for now, just because we have less than 100 population, this is good enough for now. And we should start to see, yeah, we're starting to see the ore slowly starting to come in, making about five ore per day. So because of that, let's think about building us a, another export depot. And from there, we can start using that to export the ore if it gets over, say, 20 or 30 or something like that. I think that'll be a good shout. I mean, we are still exporting uh, furniture as well, but uh, there's we're not producing as much now. Just because some of some of it is spoiling, but also we're exporting any of the extra amount, and we spent a lot of our stockpile just building up this ore mine, which we will expand out once we get a second. But that can that can wait for now. We'll probably move this processing area over here. We'll maybe keep the storage here because it's quite near the warehouse, which is nice. And we'll move the sort of efficiency upgrades over into this bit here while we cover up the rest. We may as well actually join this up here as well. Let's just build us another little road here. Just join this up. Like so. Seem, I'm not sure why we didn't join that up together in the first place. That should hopefully make people a little bit happier. They do like having nice roads. These are dirt roads. Could we potentially think about going into our research and unlocking stone roads? We have a lot of stone left. How much is that to unlock? 150? That is what we have available. Yeah, let's unlock cobblestone roads and we can maybe try and use some of our idle guys to just build up some cobblestone roads. That should help hopefully increase people's mood a little bit you can see here that uh, the cobblestone roads they don't really like forest plaza Cretonians like there we are paved roads paved roads are much better everybody kind of likes different things better yeah definitely going for the paved roads the Cretonians won't be as happy but the Dondorians and the humans both quite like it so yeah we'll do that we'll make sure that we're going to buff up this bit here and then we'll buff up probably all the way down to these import depots and then this kind of main road as well we'll just use all of our stone stockpile we can always just have more people just go through and collect more stone if necessary which it looks like we will have to because we're already losing quite a lot of stone but that's absolutely fine that's kind of what we want to do we might as well just clear out these rocks just whenever we need the stone 
Temperature has plunged. Okay, good to know. And you can see here how much stone we have available to just pick up from the ground. When people get a second, they'll go and do that. And we should be absolutely fine. We should have we have our kids who are currently still babies. They'll grow up shortly. I say shortly. It'll take a couple of years before they are up. I think it's four years for humans, if I remember correctly. But still, they'll be able to come and help out in a little bit. And we're just waiting for people's happiness. Uh, people are still a little bit unhappy with the fact there's so many immigrants, but hopefully they should be alright. We're not having everybody use a uh, lavatory, even though we do have lavatories near both of our sort of um, our housing areas. In that respect, this lavatory is currently being slightly overused or has too high a load, so we might... slightly too big to fit in there properly, so we might have to build another little one over here. And I think that's probably the best idea, if we just build like a small lavatory here, so we'll have our little access road. And we want to make sure that it is the same size, which I believe that is. Check, not one more. There we go. And we will build a little doorway here, and we'll build our little latrine. There we go. Build up a nice little basin. People can wash their hands after coming in, and that can be sitted right within our housing district. Very, very nice. Use up some of those wood that we have a little bit too much of, and it should hopefully improve everybody's mood ever so slightly. As it comes to our speaker, so has quite a lot of available services left, so I think people should be quite happy about it. Let's have another little check of our access. So people are a little bit more annoyed just because we're starting to lose out on the amount of food that we have stockpiled, and that's purely just because of the number of people that we have is going up. So we have to keep a little bit of an eye on that. We might have to build an additional hunter just to see how we do. In terms of services, everybody's happy with speakers. Most people are happy with hearths. Make sure that they're given permission. Markets and lavatory should hopefully go up. Well, the lavatory should certainly go up once we have that done. This well has... It says it has quite a lot of load, but I think it should be alright. We should maybe think about actually building another food stall. And where or where can we fit it in, is the real question. Potentially could be nice just to kind of have a food stall here. Yeah, I think a food stall here, and then that people can just grab things from. Yeah, that'll do. And we can have another nice little kind of benched area. Kind of here, we could have a food stall, we could have a distribution. But that'll just make sure that we have everybody covered as much as we can. A little bit annoying to use our additional workers for that, but hey ho, what are you going to do? Alright, let's have a little look. So we could export our ore, or we could start exporting our clothes. We are actually having a pretty decent stockpile of that, so clothes I think probably will be much better to sell at 68 to sell versus... Uh, I mean, ore is... 56. We'll maybe actually just sell both, to be honest. So, we're currently storing that much. Yeah, I think we should be good. We'll make sure we're fetching it up. Fantastic. Yeah, we will just sell up a little bit of our clothes, and that should be fine. We'll actually just get another one of these, and we'll use that to get an ore seller too. So, we're selling our furniture, we're selling our clothes, we'll start selling our ore. How are we doing for science? We're still sitting at 34. We're making a good bit of money, so we maybe want to think about importing some more things as well. Potentially importing some iron. That'll let us build guard posts, make sure everybody's still happy about that. The people are not very happy about their occupation, but that's fine. They're a little bit unhappy about the fact that there's no law that's currently going through, so we could potentially think about doing that. And for that, we need... Um, the stockade, but we probably need the guard posts as well. We'll maybe just build a stockade just so we can get some guards and get some prisoners. Hmm. Gonna take wood and stone. Something to think about. How are we doing over here? So we've got our lavatory done. Hopefully that should be able to deal with the load from all of these people. No, that was not an entendre. Honest. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe let's not think about that. What people are loading into the, the lavatory. Overall, I think things are going fairly well at the moment. We're just, you know, slowly ticking up on our number of happiness. We're just going to make sure our humans are all right. What we could do is we could do a decree 
where we just give everybody just a little bit of money. We just hand out money for everybody. Yeah. It does cost 8,000 denarii. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah. We'll just give off... Uh, it's still a little bit high on the amount of happiness we get. Yeah, let's give out a bunch of money. We're just saying to everyone, hey, you know, thank you for coming. We'll give you a little bit of money. Everybody's going to like that a lot. It's going to increase the loyalty, and that should mean that we start to see a little bit more immigration as well on top of that. Which is always very nice. How are our stone stockpiles doing? They're still a little bit under where they were, but we're still getting them back, so that's the main thing. And um, we've got to have a little thing. We should maybe actually check and see where people are walking. Where's the, the most common place for people to walk? As it is just now, is just to collect the stone. Uh, and then, other than that, it seems to be kind of like around the ore pit here. Which does make sense, but... Eventually this will be a complete ore pit, so there's not really much point in expanding that out. How are we doing over here in the ore pasture? We should have still only six animals. But we're slowly getting a backup. With livestock. And that should help quite a lot. How are we doing over here? We're exporting, so make sure we're exporting our iron ore. Fantastic. And that should give us a little bit of extra money as well. And with our decree where we just gave people money, which we will probably just do again, just to make sure everybody's very, very happy, we'll bribe them and people will be happy and that will mean that people are more likely to come to us. We should potentially think about maybe putting like one or two more scientists in. Yep, we'll get two more scientists in. That should hopefully let us get more knowledge. That means we can get a graveyard. People will be fulfilled on that and be a little bit happier in terms of their religious stuff. Which should hopefully mean more migrants as well. And then in the meantime, potentially just road up a couple more stone roads. Especially in these sort of access roads here. There we go. Make sure this is all stoned up. Just so people are walking on nice paved stones. And then we will also increase this bit over here. And then probably just the bits around the throne as well. And that should just keep people just a little bit happier. They do like walking on roads where they can. There we go. Perfect. That's probably going to use up a majority of our stone stockpile, so... A little bit annoying in that respect, but I think it'll be worth it just to give the increased happiness, especially to our Dondorians who are just a little bit miffed at us at the moment. Bit of a shame. But there's nothing you can do about that. How's a mass grave doing? Nobody seems to have died recently. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm hoping that now that we have these food stalls kind of set up, that should mean we're no longer having a problem with it actually coming to distribution of food. And given the amount of furniture we have, we could actually give them slight access to that, but mm, it's a lot of furniture. It is a lot of furniture to consider. The main thing is that everybody has their speakers. We maybe potentially need to build more hearths. I mean, people seem mostly happy, and we're not really using the services, but only 50% of their need is being met. Uh, okay, we would like to show you a gratitude. They're going to give us some swords. Okay, and some denarii. Fantastic, hey, cheers. Always nice to have nice neighbours, especially seeing as we, you know, spurned them before. Yeah, let's give them a lot of Valkatas, rather than a Warhammer, and this is a Flanks. I think it's kind of base of a uh, phalanx. Or what is it called? The... The Dacian way. Fal Falx. Yeah, Falx. And that's uh, flank. Flanks. Maybe it's a different way of saying it. Almost certainly. I'm not the most learned man in the world. <laughs> As things go goes on, we're actually nearly at 100 people, which is quite nice. Although our happiness is going down slightly. For some reason, our Cretonians are particularly not happy. They're getting their services all right. Their environment, they should hopefully... Ah, okay, their road preference is going down slightly. What about our humans? How are you doing for your road preferences? They are going up slightly. The buildings are not particularly happy with. We could try and redo our buildings in stone, but we will need to actually just, you know, collect more stones. So we'll have to wait for people to do that. We're getting a little bit more of our knowledge coming in, and we could use that knowledge for our religious purposes, just to make them a little bit happier with that. Which I don't think is a particularly bad idea. Alternatively, what is that? That's work safety. Yeah, work safety is okay, but we prefer to reduce the spoilage rates if you can. 
kind of the same with uh, we could build a brewery but we have nowhere near enough rain to really make that worth our while unfortunately we could get more fishing it only costs 50 and just gives a little bit of a boost to our fishers but we don't really employ that many yeah maybe just getting conservation just a little bit just to help out it does cost us 50 research and we are like a little bit teetering on the edge when it comes to that no need for basements or anything like that as just now how much does it cost for a proper burial that costs 100 so we can't do that yet something to consider once we get a couple more people maybe we'll actually just get another scientist just to increase our amount of knowledge that we have get us over 100 build a graveyard hopefully people will be happy about that and how are our humans doing not particularly happy they probably want more bribes almost certainly we still have 10 of our children age zero zero to two they're just here they're still oh no so some of them are actually kids now looks like quite a bit of them are kids so they'll still take a little while to get up to speed which is fine we'll just slowly grow and that's kind of what we want just keep on growing nice and slowly making our money and building up the great city of four menlor although it's yeah i mean it's nearly got 100 people in it it's just a very small village at the moment probably bigger than a hamlet i would say you know you, you've got your tailor you've got your several bits of in industry whereas before we just had our little hunter's hut speaking of our hunter's hut it's not producing that much meat so we maybe have to be a little bit concerned about that we're mostly just surviving off of our current fruit stockpiles and our vegetables which makes sense because they're not going to spoil very much and we do have a fair bit of grain as well which is nice we currently have all of our acres here they are producing as many of our bread as they can I wonder if we can slightly do the room. Yeah, let's refurnish this room. And it's 100% efficient already. So we don't really need to. Okay, yeah, let's just leave as is. They should be absolutely fine. We have got these mud walls, which are going to annoy me a little bit, but hey ho. What can you do? Maybe think about upgrading them a bit. And we're getting our stone together. Fantastic. How are we doing over here in the carpenter? Everything looking good. Still building up some furniture. We've got a nice stockpile of furniture, nice stockpile of clothes, nice stockpile of ore as well. As well as a little bit of weapons. Which we could sell. But they are quite useful just to have. As it stands. Uh, other than that, what could we do? We could create ourselves the metal smelter. We do have that research. We do, however, need some charcoal for that. Which we could do with via the, the charcoaler. Just build very, very small charcoaler. Probably over... I imagine we'll use this bit over here for harvesting wood because it seems to be the most wooded area that's still quite far away from the river. So if we decided to, say, build just a very small charcoaler here with potential to expand this way. And we'll just build a very small kiln. We do need clay for this, so we will have to start importing some clay. That's fine. That's something we can do. And we'll just build a little auxiliary kiln here as well. Just a very small charcoal's workshop. Won't be able to keep up with too much demand, but we should hopefully be alright. Let's have a little look at our import depots, which we should fit one of them more down here, kind of down Trader's Lane. Could even potentially fit one up here. We'll just import a little bit of clay. And we'll probably actually get this warehouse to stockpile it, because it still has some crates. Fantastic. And yeah, he's already storing coal. Great. So yeah, we'll use that. We'll import a little bit of clay into the city. And importing the clay means that we can then turn it into charcoal. Once we turn it into charcoal, we can then think about potentially smelting it down here once we have the workers. And then we have iron, which we can then use to make even more important goods or allowing us a little bit more resources to export. I mean, we could even potentially import the coal. That could be another way of doing things. But I kind of like just having just you know, try and be a little bit more self-efficient than just relying on your neighbours, especially because we only have the one neighbours. If we build our entire economy to just based off Kenneth, if Kenneth decides, oh, we don't want to trade with you anymore, then we're just kind of screwed. Whereas if we're just using them to supplement our income while we bring in a couple of extra things for stockpile, but we focus on trying to produce everything for ourselves, I think that's the better long-term solution. 
But things are alright, we should import that clay once the caravan comes. We've still got a decent amount of grain, fantastic. We could potentially actually upgrade this bakery in the sense that we expand it a little bit. We are... We do have fair amounts of grain stockpiles, but we don't have any bread. In fact, the amount of food that we have is dwindling slightly. We only have four food left, which is a little bit of an issue, potentially. We could maybe have a little look and see where we could build, like, another fishery. I think that's probably the best idea. If we build another aquaculture here. Where are the fish? The fish are over here. Quite far away. There's more fish over here. This central kind of area here is fish. And there is actually fish over here. So let's just build them there. Like so. Should be fairly efficient. We can build just a small storage. And we'll build some auxiliaries as well. There we go. Only three fishermen. But it's very, very productive. We can upgrade that as well. And when we do that, that should work very, very well. We should think about as well building up some more roads. Just to connect up these fisheries and these farms. Like so. There we go. Building out of stone, so the Cretonians won't be quite so happy. But it should hopefully speed up people being able to run about. And especially actually if we build it so that it's over here next to the warehouse as well how are we doing for money we still have 18 or sorry eight thousand. so you know what humans hey you're doing really well have some money with this money we should yeah give some more money there we go that'll be bring the loyalty up we're basically paying our guys just to spread the word of how good we are I and mean, people are like, hey you know if they're getting free money we might as well move here it's a good way of uh, making sure that you've still got some immigration in the early game while you're still unlocking your services. Speaking of that, we've got enough knowledge points to get proper burials, which means that we can build ourselves a graveyard rather than a mass grave, and that means that people will actually be quite happy. Where do we want to put that? Potentially just kind of put this over here. Could be quite nice, actually. If we just build that like that. And then we've got ourselves some graves. Like so. Just a couple of small graves. And then we'll maybe just build ourselves up a little pathway that leads through like so. So we can get to the graves. And then we can't really fit anything else in, unfortunately. But that's got a decent amount of respect. Not the most in the world. We could always expand it out just a little bit. So we can plant some trees. There we go. Do that. We can plant some trees at the back here. Just in between the graves, like so. Fantastic. Excellent. I think that's pretty good. That's 50 respect. That's enough for 10. It costs a bit of stone, a bit of wood. But we get that. That should make people a little bit happier. We're currently sitting at 100 people. We've just reached the 100 population point, which is fantastic. That means that we are very, very, very much growing. And it actually looks like our first batch of children are done. Unless they've just run away. I was going to say that it seems a little bit quick. Let's have a little look at our native population. It's still about the same. Yeah, we've still got our 10, 10 children. That's absolutely fine. We've got our 100 population. We're building up the number of people that we have as well 100 is a good place and i think it's actually a good place to stop this episode so what that's exactly what we will do oh uh, well thank you very much for watching this episode of songs of six we'll continue this on while the city of four men lore continues to grow into the best place in the world to live in leave us a comment down below if you'd like to become one of our nobles once we manage to get that unlocked and we can set you up to be in the game until your unfortunate demise i just want to say thank you very much for watching if you like this video give us a like and if you'd like to support the channel even further consider becoming a member of the burger band for some additional benefits like early access to videos anyway just want to say thank you very much for watching and until next time take care